Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is the memorial of St. Elizabeth of Hungary. St. Elizabeth, born in 1207, was the daughter of Andrew, King of Hungary. While still a young girl, she was married a Louis the Landgrave of Thuringia and gave birth to three children. She devoted herself to prayer and meditation. After her husband's death, she embraced a life of piety, erecting a hospital in which she had himself served the sick. She died at Marburg in 1231. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to please actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare your praise. Let us sing praise to God as we acclaim Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. Let us sing praise to God as we acclaim Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Let us sing praise to God as we acclaim St. Elizabeth of Hungary. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Let us sing praise to God as we acclaim St. Elizabeth of Hungary. Come then, let us bow down and worship bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Let us sing praise to God as we acclaim St. Elizabeth of Hungary. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Let us sing praise to God as we acclaim St. Elizabeth of Hungary. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Let us sing praise to God as we acclaim St. Elizabeth of Hungary. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us sing praise to God as we acclaim St. Elizabeth of Hungary. Please be seated. Awake, lyre and harp. With praise, let us awake the dawn. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. For in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May He send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send His truth and His love. My soul lies down among lions, who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue are sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, May your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell it in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul. Awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations, I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. 
O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessing. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant coast and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. They themselves shall be like watered gardens. Never again shall they languish. Then the virgin shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priests, and my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, through Paul of the earth, the great king's city, God in the midst of his citadels has shown himself a stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded, dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the sheep of Tanish. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. You praise, O God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled, Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk through Zion, walk all around it, count the number of its towers, review all its ramparts, examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is He who leads us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift Saint Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor, grant through her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had writing on the both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to examine it. I shed my tears because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, Do not weep. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has triumphed, enabling him to open the scroll with his seven seals. Then I saw standing in the midst of the throne, and the four living creatures and the elders, a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God sent out in the whole world. 
He came and received the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he looked it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each of the elders held a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of the holy ones. They sang a new hymn, Worthy are you to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God, those from every tribe and town, people and nation. You made them a kingdom and priests for our God, and they will reign on earth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with tremble and harp. For the Lord loves His people and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of his faithful. Alleluia. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Please stand. Hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a palisade against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you, and they will not leave one stone upon another within you, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Maganda umaga po sing lahat. Uh, sa mga pilgrims na galing pa sa malalayong lugar na nagsumikap makarating ng maaga dito sa Manawag, maligayang pagdating po dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and welcome to the celebration of the Holy Mass. One of the sacred sites that is often included in the itinerary of many Christian pilgrims who wish to visit the Holy Land is the Dominus Flevit Church, Dominus Flevit Church in the Holy Land. It is a very small church but very beautiful and it is located on the western slope of Mount of Olives facing Jerusalem. The word Dominus Flevit no? or the phrase Dominus Flevit is a Latin phrase that when translated to English would mean the Lord wept. The Lord wept. So the church of uh, Dominus Flevit, no? it is believed that 
where it stands now is the very same place where Jesus wept upon seeing Jerusalem on his journey entering Jerusalem. Now, as it is described in our Gospel reading, as Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, uh, ito yung dahilan, why he wept. If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. Why did Jesus weep? Because he visualized the downfall of Jerusalem, the destruction of Jerusalem. The destruction of Jerusalem happened because the, inhib and the inhabitants of Jerusalem did not know what makes for peace. And towards the end of our gospel reading, you know, after Jesus uh, visualized that it will be smashed, that it will be encircled, and the enemies will him people in on all sides, you know, and that the temple, there will not leave one stone upon another. And Jesus said, it is because you did not recognize the day of your visitation. I would like to continue my reflection focusing on the word, your visitation. Some of the biblical scholars would say that the word visitation would mean that the Lord God no, comes to the people of Jerusalem in the presence of Jesus Christ. But the people of Jerusalem did not recognize the God in Jesus. They did not recognize the Prince of Peace. And Jerusalem in Hebrew means no, the house of peace, but they did not know what makes for peace. And they failed to recognize that the one visiting them is the Prince of Peace. But for some biblical scholars, this is just one of the level of meaning. There's another one emerging, no? that when we read the passage in its original form in Greek, the word visitation would translate to episcope, meaning watching over. It's the, word, it's the root word for episcopal, something related to the bishop, to the role of the bishop being um, watching over, not the diocese, watching over the people of God. So it means that the people has failed to recognize or to, has failed to watch over Jerusalem. And that's why the destruction of Jerusalem, that the inhabitants failed to watch over even themselves to be faithful, no? to continue trusting in the goodness of God. They failed in their obligation to watch over their community, to watch over Jerusalem, to watch over the temple. And so, 40 years after the death of Jesus, what he predicted happened in 70 AD, Jerusalem was destroyed. The temple was destroyed. And what is this for us? What is the meaning of our gospel reading for us? Let us suppose, just suppose, in our time, now, if Jesus looked at us, what would his reaction be? Would he be happy seeing us that we know what makes for peace and if we know what makes for peace we are working for peace we are working for justice that is related for peace and if he sees us knowing what peace is and working for peace perhaps he would be smiling upon us at us knowing that our redemption is close at hand but what if, but what if he sees in us no, our failure in our obligation 
to watch over ourselves, to remain faithful, to watch over our community, that we protect even our community, that we lead our community to what is right, to what is morally right, to what our community should do. Hmm? What if the Lord is seeing us failing in our obligation to protect our church, to protect our country? Perhaps Jesus will see us weeping. Weeping because even nowadays, we fail to recognize our own visitation. The Lord is weeping because He could foresee, He could visualize our own destruction. In this Mass we pray, Lord, let us continue to know what makes for peace. And when you visit us, let's help us recognize your visitation. And please help us also recognize our own visitation, that we have an obligation to watch over ourselves, our faithfulness, to watch over our community, to watch over our country, to watch over our church. Kindly all stand now and we present to the Lord our prayers. Let us make our prayers of intercession as part of our pilgrimage of faith, following Christ to the eternal Jerusalem, our promised inheritance. Let your response be, Lord, let us feel your presence. Lord, let us feel your presence, that the church may become a living sign and instrument of unity and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us feel your presence. That as a community of believers, we may not be divided by petty barriers of hatred and prejudice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us feel your presence. That we may avoid making excuses in responding to the demands of our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us feel your presence. That life's misfortunes or sickness may not distract us from our resolve to follow Jesus even in suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us feel your presence. Our fourth, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us feel your presence. For justice, peace, and development of the country, and for our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us feel your presence. In oh. silence, in silence, let us lift to the Lord our own personal and particular intentions. We include also the success of the common study of uh, the Dominica, the novices of uh, various congregations of Dominicans today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, let you feel your presence. God, our Father, we may never look back or hesitate to move forward in the journey towards your kingdom. May these prayers strengthen our faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness. We have received this bread we offer you, fruit of your earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Please stand there. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, by whose gift St. Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor, grant through her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted. So, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church to spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and to praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, Amen, Amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
all the world will recognize you as my disciples when they see the love you have one for another. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All the, All world, the world will recognize, recognize you as my, as my disciples, disciples when, when they, they see love the love you, you have one, one for another. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of Blessed Elizabeth, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessings of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Mag be blessed na po tayo uh, para sa mga may sakit na narito at uh, isusunod natin ang pagbabasbas ng mga rosario at iba pang mga religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness to our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Para naman sa mga religious articles na daladala niyo at nais niyong pabasabasan. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your rosaries, candles, images of our Lord, images of Our Lady, crucifixes, oil, and all other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.